For 22-year-old La Padondra, roaming around the city and taking photos have become a daily routine. Standing less than one meter tall, the wheelchair-bound Tibetan has brittle bone disease, which leads to frequent fractures. Out of safety concerns, La Padondra's family asked him to drop out of school and stay at home. Thanks to help from the local civil affairs department, in 2018 he was offered to study at Lhasa Care Center for People with Disabilities, a development that gave him renewed hope. At the center, La Padondra not only learned Tibetan calligraphy and Mandarin writing, but also chose to learn photography and video editing. Both of which he enjoys. In 2021, La Padondra got a job. Joe, a disabled entrepreneur, started a business for Tibetan calligraphy training and stationery sales. Of the 42 employees hired by his company, 27 have disabilities. La Padondra is now working at Joe's company, responsible for taking promotional photos as well as online operations. For him, photography is more than just a way to make a living. Thank you.